If your user account has the admin stamps permission, you can create either text or image stamps. This allows your users or workflow to annotate documents with custom stamps. Start by clicking Admin, then Stamps. Click New, then choose to create an image stamp or text stamp. Let's start by creating an image stamp. Click Image, then give your stamp a name. The name must be 12 characters or less, but you can use spaces and special characters. I'll enter a name, then click Choose File. Select the file from your workstation, then click Open. If you're curious, PNG files with transparency are supported. Click Save, and your image rubber stamp is ready to be used. You can click a stamp's name to review it. Click Delete to delete a stamp. Deleting a stamp removes it from use, but documents annotated with it will remain stamped. Text stamps offer some useful benefits that you may want to use. Let's click New and choose Text Stamp. Give it a name, then you can begin customizing it. Font options are available in the dropdown. If your documents are in the 2 to 300 DPI range, best practice is to pick a font size in the teens. You can manually enter text here, but let's take a look at the replacement text options first. Use these parameters to automatically pull data like the name of the user annotating the document and the current date into your stamp. I'll type reviewed by user on ISO date and click save. We now have a stamp our users can use to add to documents they've reviewed. Finally, for users on 20.1 and newer, you can now use the Add Stamp task to automatically place image or text stamps in Workflow. Replacement text in Workflow can make use of any workflow or document-related data, including system arguments, so you can add text stamps containing any information you need.